Hi, I'm Chef Matt. This is Chef Michael from Abercrombie. Welcome to the USU Kitchen. Uh, we miss you guys. Um, we're going to show you a few tips and tricks of some beautiful dishes from Abercrombie. Right. So you'll need some firm white flushed fish, light soy, rice wine vinegar, water, ginger, julienne, sugar, cooking oil, and some uh, shallot also julienne. So, to, and you'll also need a steamer, or any steamer really, whatever you can sort at home. So to start, in a dish, we just place the fish down flat. And then on top of the fish, we'll just add the uh, ginger. So I'm using about uh, 300 grams of fish and the ginger, it's not much, it's only about 10 grams. That's actually quite generous with the ginger. Okay, so we put that in the steamer as so, and then wipe the lid on. And that just goes over some boiling water. Depending on the thickness of the fish, it'll take around uh, 10, 12 minutes, uh, potentially longer, if you're worried it'll cook for a bit longer, but not too much. Okay, and so while that's on the stove, we need to make the sauce. So, for the sauce, it's quite easy. I just get about 80 ml of soy so light soy sauce. This is about 150 ml of water. And one tablespoon of sugar. I just heat that up until the sugar dissolves. Rice wine vinegar, sorry. It's half a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar as well. So how long will it take for the sugar to dissolve? Um, you can actually use hot water and it'll dissolve pretty much instantly and then it speeds up the salt process. That seems we've got 10 minutes for the fish. That wasn't a big to rush. Um, it doesn't take long at all. Uh, and you just bring it to the boil. You don't want to reduce it because then it'll be too salty. So pretty much just uh, dissolve the sugar, bring it to the boil, and then it's done. And you do want to kind of keep it um, keep it hot. Michael, if you didn't have a, a steamer basket, would you be able to steam it in the microwave? You can, but I never do. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen recipes where people put it in plates and they just cover um, the plate with glad wrap and you can steam fish that way. Uh, but there's another way to do it, um, which is just boiling the fish, which is why this fish is good because it's quite resilient. Um, and it's easier as well. There's a different method with the sauce and everything. So um, there's different ways to do this at home, but this is more traditional. This is what uh, we do at Apple and in a lot of restaurants, this is how they would cook this fish. Cool, so that looks good. I'll just take it off the heat now, set it to the side. We just gotta wait for the fish to be ready. Alright, so we'll have a look to see if the fish is ready. So you'll know it's ready when uh, the colour changes. It goes from that translucent colour to a white colour. So as you can see, it's clearly not ready yet. It's still quite pink there. And you'll also be able to tell by um, texture. So it will be a bit, it'll be firm. Um, whereas here, it still feels quite soft. So that will need about another five minutes. Fish should be ready now. I'll have a look. Yep, it's good. Colours or white and it feels quite firm. And if you'll get a feel, if you actually push with more pressure, you'll feel it start to flake. And you kind of, that's where you want to get it at. So we'll take the entire thing off. So just be careful here to get in, take it out. But you also got to then drain off this liquid. You don't want any of that. Perfect. A bit more. Okay. We'll return this sauce to the heat. It doesn't need to boil again, it just needs to be hot. And then while you're reheating the sauce, take your julienne shallot and you just put that over the top. 
So it's about, uh, you only need about, you don't need heaps, about one stalk, like medium sized stalk, about that. Okay, and so, go back to the source. Should be quite hot already from before, so can we just pull that on top? So as you can see, it's a bit too much sauce, but it doesn't matter. You can put that sauce in the fridge and um, use it next time you cook it, so you don't have to make the sauce again. It smells amazing. So it's almost done. The last step is uh, if you have another pot, or I can show you what, what I do because I don't like cleaning up at home, is if you want to reduce the amount of equipment you're using, you can use the same pot. Just give it a rinse because you need to put oil in this one now. And it's important that this is completely dry because you're heating up oil until it gets quite hot and any moisture in there will just cause the oil to start spitting. So put on the heat, let it dry there. So I've got about two tablespoons of oil. Hopefully that's enough. It's rare that I actually measure quantities out. I usually just throw things together, but I've uh, tried to measure things out. So that looks quite dry. I'll give it one last wipe just to be sure. Some of these really do for cooking for one or two people. Yeah, two normally at Abercrombie, every time we cook the ginger fish, we're doing about, um, per day, we do about, I think, three, two to 300 portions. So it's strange cooking just one portion. And we also, use um, the steam ovens and all that so we can cook on a much larger scale. So this one, it's really important that you don't walk away because uh, you're trying to heat the oil up till it's almost smoking. So you're gonna pour this over the shallots to really bring the flavor out. When it's ready, it'll start to smoke and that's when you know it's hot enough. And so you take that off the heat and just really gently, you wanna pour that over the shallots. And that just really nicely brings the flavor out of the shallots but also keeps the colour nice and vibrant. Okay. And that's it. So, usually serve that with some jasmine rice. And there you have it, ginger fish, just like an Abercrombie Terrace.